Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video, guys. Really appreciate you guys for stopping by one more time. I'm your guy, Dedrick L. Hicks Jr. All right, back with another video. And uh, I know why you're here. Yeah, I know why you're here. You're here because I'm talking about that smell good, man. I'm talking about that smell good. All right, appreciate you guys once again for tuning in. Um, If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your second, third, fourth, or fifth, or tenth, or twelfth time to uh, Dedrick Hicks video, Appreciate you, but go ahead, everybody, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell, you'll be notified every single time that I drop a new fragrance video, okay? So today you've got a fragrance breakdown, and this is one of my favorite fragrances probably of all time. It's a top 10 for me, top 10 for me. It is a beautiful summer fragrance versatile fragrance you can wear to the office type fragrance um and i love the scent dna on this thing but i can't lie i've been disturbed on some of the commentary of this fragrance over the past i don't know probably a couple of months when i'm hearing out there in the fragrance world man it's it's boiling my blood and i really don't appreciate it but we'll get into that in a second but i'm talking about none other they're from the house of Versace. I'm talking about Versace Pour Homme. All right, Versace Pour Homme. Okay, love this stuff. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. Okay, now this fragrance uh, originally uh, released in 2008, so it's been out for quite some time now. Um, but look, I didn't get my bottle until 2020. Yeah, now am I brand new to the fragrance game? No, I'm not. My first bottle of cologne was in Calvin County Session in the eighth grade. I had some Tommy Hilfiger, some Michael Jordan cologne, some Juke, all that, man. But this one, I knew about it. I knew it was out there, but never copped a bottle. Never had a personal bottle. Had some samples back in the day. Of course, shopping and dealers and stuff like that. But I never copped a bottle until uh, last year. But, man, um, no, was it last year? No, it's this, this summer. Yeah, I just got my first bottle in 2021. Man, I'm tripping. I know some of y'all watching like, what, 2021? It's been out since 08, bro. I know, forgive me, give me a pass. Give me a pass, all right? But let's get into the presentation of the bottle. We're gonna talk about the presentation, then we're gonna get into uh, the note uh, breakdown, and then we're gonna talk about some stats of what this thing gives you, okay? So presentation is good. Uh, pretty simple bottle, nothing too crazy here. Uh, you got the Versace logo dead center on display here. Get my camera to focus on that, there it is. All right, and then you got some, I uh, got the Versace on the uh, cap. And then you got some uh, stitching, the Versace border, so to speak, on the stitching right there. So pretty, uh, pretty basic bottle, but it looks nice. It's classy. It's a classy bottle. Got that blue juice uh, in there, um, and it's dope. I put a little dent in it uh, so far. Got a small little dent in it, and I'm gonna put a bigger dent in it as I go. Even when we go into the winter times, this is a summer fragrance. I'm gonna be wearing this to the office because I gotta smell it. I wanna smell it, all right? Even though, you know, I can't wear it in the cold. I mean, I could, but I won't, but, you know, probably wear this to the office. So anyway, great presentation on the bottle. You know, very solid, very classy look, all right? So let's go ahead and get this thing on a tester strip, even though I already know how it smells. I don't need a tester strip, but I wanna smell it, all right? So there we go, two sprays right there. And yeah, man, right away, right away, just, just get punched right in the nose. Just fantastic, man. That citrus, that, that citrus opening is just tremendous. I think this citrus, this citrus opening, and don't unsubscribe when I say this, Fragrance World, but it's similar to the citrus opening of uh, Bloody Chanel EDT. And why do I say that? Because the citrus is so uh, strong in the opening, it, it just cuts just right through the opening, and it's so in your face, man, that you get it. Just like in uh, the Bloody Chanel EDT, you get that grapefruit, you get that lemon, uh, just just pulsing through right away. You kind of get it, Matt, you kind of, you get it with um, Versace Pour Homme, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. This stuff is, um, like I said, it's florals, citrusy, just green type fragrance that is blended so well. Nothing synthetic 
about Versace Pour Own. Nothing synthetic about Versace Pour Own at all. Um, you, dig, you, you do get good quality. And nowadays you can get this fragrance for a 100 ml bottle for 50 bucks. And then you can turn around and get a 200 ml, which I'll be getting even before I finish this. So I can just have for the rest of my life. Um, a 200 ml, you probably can get that for like 70 bucks on discounters. I'll put both links down, the 200 and the 100, uh, just in case you're interested in trying it. But for me, summertime gold, summertime animal, summertime champion, warm weather, hot weather king. All right, this is one of the kings of the summer, in my opinion. Now, Earlier I was telling you guys about, lately I've been seeing this fragrance, oh, it's not the most this, or it's not the most that, but the one thing that I'm not hearing people say that is still prevalent and present in this day, that it smells good. It smells great. Compliment getter. Good longevity. Huh? Okay. Good longevity. Good sillage. Good projection. Like, it's still good. So I don't understand the, I'm not going to say it's getting dissed, but it's kind of getting pushed to the side. And I would say if you want to do that, cool, more for me then. <laughs> more for me then. But this is one of my all-time favorites. Definitely top 10 all-time for me. Just enjoy the DNA. I enjoy that citrus. I enjoy that floral uh, take that they give in this DNA. And it's just good. And it gets you compliments. Every time I wear this, I always get, hey man, what is that you're wearing? Even the fragrance that came out in 2008, I still get that. I still get that. So, um, like I said, is it versatile for all seasons? I wouldn't say so. Could you try to wear it in the cold? Sure. Probably won't last that long. But in the warmer months, the hotter months, you know, spring, yeah, throw it on. Throw it on and let it work for you. All right? Even when you go to the office, you can wear this to the office in a climate control area. It's going to perform for you. It's going to do well. It's gonna do well and it's gonna smell, you're gonna smell great and you're gonna get compliments. Don't sleep on this, guys. This is a classic. That's right, I said it. This is a classic, a classic, all right? So like I said before, I got this 100 ml bottle. 200 ml will be coming uh, very soon, well before I even run out the 100 ml because I just wanna have it for the rest of my life, all right? So let's get into some of the accords and some of the notes in this fragrance and see what we work with, all right? So um, in the main accord, you have that citrus that I talked about. Uh, we have an aromatic, fresh, spicy, floral, rose, and green accord in this fragrance. Um, like I said, this fragrance came out in 2008, all right? So some of the notes in the top, lemon, bergamot, bergamot, bergamot bursting with citruses in the opening. That's why I talked about it with that Bloody Chanel uh, EDT type of opening. They just really get hit by the citrus. On um, the roly, you got some rose. Down in the mids, you got some cedar, some clary sage, and some geranium. And down in the base notes, you got that powdery tonka bean, you got that musk, and you got that sweet amber oil that's smoothing it out, giving it like, like a creamy take, giving a creamy body type to this fragrance, okay? so. Big fan of all of these notes. The one note that I'm always worried about is the rose note. You just really don't know if it's gonna be blended well. And I can say for this fragrance, it is definitely blended beautifully, okay? Um, you know, I just enjoy it. It's something that you don't you don't have to wear for to make an impression. This is something that you probably end up wearing for you. Just putting it on for you so you can enjoy it. And oftentimes the not, that's why I probably wear it. But in the meantime, while I'm out, I do get compliments. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. So yeah, love this stuff. Love it. Love it. I'll always wear it. I don't, I don't ever see myself putting this down. I don't see myself ever putting, putting you down. I never see myself putting this down. So um, let's talk about uh, projection. Projection easy. Easily two hours for me. Off my skin, off my clothes easily two hours projection, which is tremendous, especially for a fragrance that is uh, citrusy. Um, citrus fragrance, fragrances tend to not last that long. Might get a good hour, hour and a half, um, but not this one for me. I get about two hours, about two hours. Um, longevity, truthfully, I get around seven to eight hours. 
seven to eight hours. It didn't even want to turn into a skin set when it's sitting close to your skin. It's still doing its job. So if you're in an intimate setting after wearing it, you know, for a while and you come across an intimate setting, it still is going to work for you and do its thing. And then the CI is just tremendous. The CI is just tremendous. The, the wind and the air around you is going to pick it up and take it over and visit other people's noses. And that's when you're going to start getting the compliments. And that's when people are going to start to ask you, what are you wearing, man? What are you wearing? All right, so all in all, a solid fragrance. This would be a very good pickup if you don't have it already. Again, I'm in Florida, so it's still hot outside. So you're getting, you know, a lot of, um, um, I'm, I'm putting out a lot of wares on this one with it being hot in Florida. Uh, and you know, around here, it don't really get cooled off till like the end of October going to November. And that's cool. That's cool. Cause probably by that time, I probably have half a bottle uh, in here. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay. So again, that is Versace Pour Own Top 10 for me. Link will be down in the description for both the 100 ml and the 200 ml. Like I said before, this stuff is just good. I enjoy it very, very much. Very, very much joy, very, very much. All right, so um, that's going to be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you got something from it. If you're interested in it, um, go ahead and cop it. If you got any, any more questions or you need me to, um, you know, talk about something else about the fragrance that maybe I missed, let me know down in the comments and I will gladly, gladly engage with you guys. Okay, so uh, until next time, you guys be safe. Take care of yourselves out there, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, y'all be cool.